Alright guys, bit of a late night adventure. I just got a phone call that someone has a large snake in their house. Uh, it's a bit of a drive away, but I'm definitely going for it. I'm absolutely flying down my little street right now. Um, but yeah, it's about a 30 minute drive. I'm hoping to make it in about 15. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Alright, I've just reached the main highway and I'm traveling at a much more substantial speed now. I believe it is a monocled cobra, which would be a snake I haven't caught a whole lot around this area before, and actually haven't caught a whole lot ever. But yeah, I'm just gonna try my absolute best to get there as fast as possible. Just pulling up to the spot now after a really fast and reckless, and somewhat reckless drive. Hi. Just me. You're great. That's a nice torch you've got there. Ricky. David. Is the snake still there? Yeah, I think he must have consumed it. He's very gassy. Is it alright if I... Oh, nice. Is it alright if I film this? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Alright. It's a bit hard right. to film with this light. It's kind yeah, of weird. You could, maybe you can light bit, might be better. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh... Oh wow, he's massive. Yeah. All right. Let's just. Uh... Yep, nice monocled cobra. Monocled, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and see where. I can lift that log if you need it, lift it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just concerned about crushing him because he's quite intertwined in there. After I lift this first bit off, All right. I'll lift the second bit off. Yeah, 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 it's perfect. Oh, you smell his gassy. Oh man. Smelly, smelly. Does that help? Yeah, that'll help. All right, actually, this is good. Let him cruise out from there and... Hang on. Let me see if I can get him. Got him! Holy shit. All right, um... Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got the log, I've got the log. Yeah, you uh, want to take the camera? Yeah, if you could just yeah. film yeah. and you can maybe... Yeah. All right, now I've got it. Man, this thing, this is the biggest one I've ever caught. I might actually have to let go of the head for a second. Oh, that's not. In order to get the thing. Oh, Christ! Jesus. This is the biggest monocle I've ever right. seen in the wild. Can I let this log down? Yeah, yeah, you can oh, let the log geez. down. Oh. That is incredible. Dude, that's some brave shit. Alright, I can take over again. The camera, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Alright, beautiful, large, huge monocled cobra. He was in my backyard with my dogs the other day. Yeah, I saw you had a daytime photo of him as well. Yeah, really? and I was hoping that he disappeared, but clearly he didn't. Whew. And I have a, a girl dog that sleeps in the driveway. Uh huh. And she let us know. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I've got to get a hand on this thing again. Oh, there goes some of his popes. See if I can work my way around to the head here. All right, got him. Whew. All right, I'm gonna cut the video and try and find somewhere to put this. All right, guys, so it's the next day and we didn't actually get a chance to do anything with it last night because we did actually get the call out last minute and I had plans to go somewhere right after that. So I just came home, dropped the snake and yeah, haven't really even had a proper look at it yet, but here we are now in a nice area away from people in appropriate habitat and we're gonna go release it and give you guys one little look at it. Okay, out she comes. I'm assuming it's a she at this size, I actually don't know but almost certainly it will be a she. I wonder if she's gonna be defensive. She wasn't very defensive when we caught her. 
Hello there, girly. Yeah, as you can see, she is still somewhat half asleep, hasn't really realized what's going on yet, and this might actually be a good chance to get some ticks off her tail, because while catching, I did notice she had a few ticks. Before she fully awakens and realizes what's going on, I'm gonna see if I can ever so gently get her tail out. Ah, yes, you can see right there, she's got a nice little cluster of massive ticks. Sometimes removing these does hurt a little, so she might react when I pluck them off, but it's fine. She's actually being real cooperative here. That's the thing a lot of times when you bag snakes, they they just are in a dark, confined space, and they just kind of like curl up and go to rest. Um, and then when you tip them out, they often don't immediately realize what's going on and are still half asleep, but then... Once they realize what's going on, they, they will fully awaken quite rapidly. Okay, I believe that is all of them. These ticks, unfortunately, sometimes do cause some damage, and she's actually missing the tip of her tail as well, which could actually even be due to these ticks that she had. Um, I don't see any more ticks. Let's see, uh, let's, let's wake her up. There we go. That's what I was expecting. Nice, active cobra now. All right, have a look at that. She is putting up nicely, and now you can actually fully see the impressive size of this snake. Uh, very long individual. Oh, the ticks are, the ticks are walking around on her now. Not good. Anyway, you can see she is flaring her hood, making herself as big as possible uh, in an attempt to scare me off, but she's not actively going for me, which is very typical of most snakes, actually. They will be defensive, they just want to be left alone, but you can see if I stand up how long she is in comparison to me, almost, probably, just a tad shorter than me, so probably about 1.5, 1.6 meters or so, I would guess. What a beautiful snake. Oh, there's another tick that's somehow back on her. All right, got it. You can see she is being defensive, but would much rather just crawl away, which is what we're gonna let her do in just a moment. I just wanna give you guys one last really good look at her. This is truly the biggest wild monocled cobra I've ever seen. Should probably release her before she gets unnecessarily worked up more than she already is but yeah she is in general you saw she did take a turn at me there but of course that was well deserved on my end um, yeah we're just gonna let her go and pass the camera over to me all right just let this beautiful girl cruise off wait no don't go this way go that way Sometimes snakes are like determined to go in one specific direction. Oh, yes. And wavy. Isn't it amazing how a snake can just like vanish, even in like short grass like this? <laughs> 